we're going to be dealing with unit rates and fractions and in fact we'll also kind of uh, touch on decimals uh, with unit rates here in just a bit but uh, do you remember what a unit rate is um, and in fact let's go to a story problem Carl ate 18 donuts in six minutes find the unit rate of and then it tells you what it wants donuts two minutes so what we got to do is we have to go make a rate first uh, and so we got to go find donuts. In this case, it would be 18 donuts, as it says right here. So 18 donuts. Two, in this case, it says minutes, so six minutes. And hopefully you remember that um, a ratio is just two numbers that are being compared to each other using division. And a rate is where a ratio has two different units on there. So since we've got donuts on top, and we've got a different unit that's not donuts on the bottom that makes it a rate. But when we talk about the special unit rate, that means that this second number on the ratio needs to be a 1. So how do I make the 6 into a 1? We divide it by itself. And what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So it would be 3 donuts for 6 divided by 6 would be 1 for 1 minute. And my handwriting is horrible here, but this would be the unit rate, okay? So how do we do it? Step one, we go make a regular rate where uh, the number on the bottom may not be a one, but then if it's not, we just make it into a unit rate by dividing the ratio, the rate, uh, by whatever that bottom number was. And then suddenly, ta-da, we've got that um, one that's on the bottom. And that unit rate is so much more usable. I mean, 18 donuts in six minutes, it just seems like random numbers. But when we start talking about, hey, three donuts every minute, that gives us more usable information. So uh, what would happen if we replaced the 18 and the 6 with fractions? You know, what would happen if we did that? Well, we would still have to say we need to find the unit rate. And to do that, we need to build a rate of donuts to minutes. So we just write in here one-third donuts. And we put one-fourth minutes on the bottom. Why do I set it up like this? Because the problem told me donuts goes first, minutes goes second. Now, um, before, you know, we had a six on the bottom, so we divided by six. Now, we've got a one-fourth on the bottom, so we're literally going to divide it by one-fourth. And we're going to divide the top by one-fourth as well. Okay? So, one-fourth divided by one-fourth is one. Keep the tag of the minutes there. And since it's not plural, we'll just make it singular, one minute. And one-third divided by one-fourth is four-thirds donuts. Now, the issue, though, is right here. I'm going to put a little star there for just a second. Um, improper fraction, that's a no-go. That's That's not going to be allowed to stand there. So how do I make four-thirds into a mixed number? I take the four and I divide it by three. I take the top number and divide it by the bottom number. Three goes into the four once, and I've got one left over. So it equals this number right here is our whole number. This number right here is the new uh, numerator for the fraction. And we look back at the original uh, denominator for that right there. So four-thirds is the same as one and one-third. So let me just kind of erase this. And let me take off that four-thirds donuts and replace it with the one and one-third donut. So what's the unit rate of Carl eating one-third donuts in one-fourth of a minute? One and one-third donuts for one minute. Um, same thing's happening if we have mixed numbers here. You know, we still want to find a unit rate of donuts to minutes. Okay, so two and one third donuts stays on top. And one and one third uh, minutes would stay on bottom. So we've made the rate from the way that they told us. And now we check to see if the second number is a one. It's not. So we've got to make it into a 1, so we'll divide it by itself. That makes it into a special unit rate for us. And then we just let the calculator do the work, or we have to do it out manually. In this case, I'll let the calculator do it. And we get 1 on the bottom. 
know, so it's it's one min on the bottom, one and one third divided by one and one third is one, and two and a third divided by one and a third is seven fourth donuts. Same issue as before, you know, seven fourths would um, transform itself uh, into one and three fourths donuts or one minute. So just don't let the improper fraction stand on these right here, but here's the unit rate and here's the, the final answer right here, okay? Last one though, what would, you, what would we do if there were decimals in here? Well, it's still donuts to minutes. It's still the same problem of find a unit rate. So 0 0.7 donuts divided by 0 0.2 minutes. You need to divide it by itself and divide the top of the same. And I see that we get a pretty cool answer on here. It would be one minute on the bottom, obviously, but it turns out to exactly be 3.5 donuts. And I'm starting to write minutes, so let me erase that. So the unit rate is 3.5 donuts to one minute. Um, something to, to consider with the, the decimals. If you get like a repeating decimal, it'd probably be best to round or put a repeating sign on there. Uh, take a look at the assignment and see uh, what their preference is, whether they want you to round or be precise. Um, be careful with that, especially with uh, any homework assignments or teacher assignments that you get in the future. Check with your professor or teacher and see what their uh, preferences for like a, a long decimal that doesn't have a pattern. Do they want you to round it or um, you basically you got to put in all the digits that the calculator gives you. So um, just check on that and you should be fine with decimals for unit rates as well.